Live AV Club, and we're inside of Vegas Pro 17, and we're going to do a quick uh, chalkboard effect today. So the idea is to create a font and a transition for the font that makes it kind of appear as if you're writing on a chalkboard. So first you're just going to need an image of a chalkboard. Any kind of stock image of a flat-on view of a stock a chalkboard is going to work for this. And um, maybe some kind of a sound effect too, that's optional. Um, and where I got, uh, and you're also going to need a chalk font. So first let's take a look at this. So you can find uh, writing sound effects and stuff on the YouTube audio library. It's not very robust, so you might you might be shopping around for the sound effect for a little bit. But the uh, fonts are a plenty. There's all sorts of websites like this. This is thefont.com. It's a very popular one. I'll link it below. But you can just search for chalk, and you know you get all sorts of things. Um, and the one thing I suggest you do is check the usage rights, right? So a lot of these say free for personal use or, um, you know, sometimes they're free for commercial use or whatever. Sometimes you only get the demo of it, but that's something I'd pay attention to. But find a chalkboard font that works for what you're looking for. And then when you install that font to the computer, uh, you'll download it, extract the file, and then, uh, then you just click on the... The font file and when it opens you'll just hit install in the top corner it's pretty pretty self-explanatory you'll need to open Vegas after you've installed it so if you have Vegas open while you're installing the font you'll need to close Vegas and open it back up you just need to go to your media generators tab and go to titles and text and then grab text and if you're doing multiple lines you're gonna want to put each line in its own layer and I'll show you why so Let's go ahead and take a look at the text editor here. Now when you have multiple text editors up, quick note, whatever one you have pressed this button last on, this media generated media button, whatever button you clicked it last on, that's the one you're editing. So right now I can type I'm writing on that up and then make this one say a on a chalkboard and you can reposition them here to get them how you want them but the first thing you need to do is grab your installed font so we're gonna do the top line first I, I clicked on this button right here I'm highlighting all the text and I'm selecting my font which I'm using one called simple chalk and then I'm gonna go select the bottom one do the same thing So there we go. Now I've got the chalkboard writing. And one thing you can do to kind of make it look a little more realistic is you can actually fade it just a touch to have a, a bit more of a see-through effect that you would get on a real chalkboard. I wouldn't do it a lot because that doesn't look right. But just a little bit of fading your opacity by grabbing the center tab here and moving it down will, will give you a touch more believability. So you also want them to appear in different orders. You want the top line to appear, then the bottom line, because you want it to do it like you're writing. You also want them appear, to appear from left to right. So we're going to create a transition. If you grab the top left-hand corner, you can create a fade. That's your transition. We want two fades, roughly about the same length. The longer your fade is, the longer the transition is going to be. Then go to your Transitions tab and select Linear Wipe. And you want one that goes left to right, just like you're writing. Go left to right and drop it here. Now we can see immediately we kind of have that effect, but I'm going to add just a touch of an angle and I'm going to get rid of the feathering. So what the feathering does, you can see how it kind of bleeds into the letter there. Uh, the angle also changes the direction. The wipe's going this way now instead of straight across. But I want the letters to look like I'm kind of starting at the top and writing, and I want them to kind of look like they are being written with a hard right. So I'm actually going to do no feather. So now when we watch it, it's kind of got this writing feel. So instead of doing this on every single line that you're going to be doing, because the chances are you're going to be doing this a lot, what you want to do is you're going to give this a name, and then you want to hit this save button right here. I've already pre-saved one, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that one up. But you can then, whenever you add this transition, any any of the linear wipes that you add, 
because they're all just listed right here. Now you can actually add one called your whatever you've named it. I've called mine Chop. And it'll actually appear down here too. You can see where I've been working on this tutorial a few different times and show you what it looks like. Um, so now, there we go. We got the chalkboard effect. Now one more thing you can do is you can actually add a little bit of a sound effect just to kind of increase the, sorry, I've got a few different media there. You can drop a sound effect in your sound and you're going to want, this is one where it's just kind of a constant pen writing sound. That, that'll simulate a chalkboard as well. You just kind of want it to pop up in the middle of your transition, because not right at the beginning, but kind of right in the middle. There you go. And you can you can get this a little bit more exact, but now we have a I'm writing on a chalkboard effect, and we did it so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i have tons more on the way this is part of the video marathon if you're new to editing i highly recommend you check out my udemy tutorials where we do three projects together we not just learn the software but we also learn some editing theory anything you buy through my affiliate links helps me out i will be doing more tutorials asap thanks for watching i'll see you next time i really appreciate all the views and all the likes and all the subscribes you guys are really making this channel work. A special thanks to my patrons from Patreon, including the patrons you see listed here.